Hello and welcome to chapter one, part one. In this episode, we're going to talk through how to create a new project in Unreal Engine 4. When you choose to launch Unreal Engine 4, any version, uh, you can choose what blueprint you want to use in a new project. You have options for blank, first person, flying, handled AR, and so forth. We're going to be using the blank blueprint template. Down here, you have options for its output and what, uh, if it includes the starter content or not as well as where you want to store your project and the name of the project. I've called my project Project One Maze, but you can name yours however you wish. When you're ready, click Create Project. When Unreal has finished loading up your project, you'll be presented with the main editor window. Here are the various viewports that we have currently available to us. In the center, we have the main game view. This is the view of the game world and all your objects within inside of it. On the left, we have the Modes panel. In this panel, we can choose from Place Mode to Painting, Landscape, Foliage, and Geometry Editing. We'll have more on this later. At the bottom, we've got our Content Browser. This is the library of all the assets and all the content that'll be part of your game. It's important that we keep things organized in here. So as we are creating our game, we'll be making sure we make new folders and make things named appropriately. On the right-hand side, we've got our World Outliner. And this is a detailed panel of all the items inside our world. And here we can create groups and folders to keep things organized. Below that, we have the details panel. As you click on objects, the details panel will change to reflect what options are available for that object. For example, this table, I can change its location, its rotation, and its scale, as well as many other options as well. As I said, this will change based on what we click on. So notice if I click on the player start here, I get different options available to me. Inside our viewport, we have other options available. We can change what uh, perspective we're looking through. So we click on perspective and you can change what camera we look at. So I go to from top, bottom, left, and back to perspective. We can also change its way it's rendered. By default, it's lit. That means it's going to be shown in the shading, lighting, and textures. But we can change this to unlit, wireframe, detailed lighting, lighting only, reflections, player collision, and so on and so forth. There are plenty more options available to you in those menus. Help yourself and just play around to see what you like. And then we have the show button. And here you can choose what things you want to see and don't want to see. If you ever want to see what the game will look like in game, just put, push the G button and it will showcase what the game will actually look like as it is playing. So if we go back to the editor mode, hit the G button again. In the top right, we have the move or translation tool, the rotate tool, and the scale tool. And that will change the gizmo accordingly. We also have available our snaps. So here we have a movement snap, and I'll toggle that off and on with the click of the orange button there and I can change how much it snaps do on my grid by various increments so for example if I change this to 100 and move it you see the the uh, player start here will snap to the grid if I turn the, t uh, the snap off I have freer movement of where I place my player start this same applies to my rotation and my scale and the last button we have here is our camera speed. This is how we can control the movement of the camera inside our viewport. Make it faster. Or make it slower. To control the camera in the viewport, you can hold down the right mouse button and use W, A, S, and D to move around. Above the viewport, you have various other options up top here, um, which we'll go through as the game goes on. But for starters, we can hit the play button and the game will start us off inside this world. We can fly around freely. And that will do for part one of chapter one. Join us in the next part where we start creating a new level. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you like what I do and you want to see more content before anyone else, 
please consider supporting me for at least a dollar over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. For just a dollar, you can get access to all these videos early before anyone else, sometimes well ahead of anyone else. And I'll take this moment to say a big thank you for all my supporters so far in supporting me in making this channel content. We wouldn't be doing this without you guys, so a big thank you to all of you. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.